Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to completely back up your Android system. Uh, that means settings, apps, uh, application settings, um, any apps that the ROM uh, chef may have cooked in, uh, the settings for that as well. I'm going to show you how to do this so that when you install maybe an update or a new build um, onto your HD2 or any other phone for that matter, um, you'll be able to restore your settings so everything uh, will still be there, messages, stuff like that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show you now. First thing you've got to do is go to the marketplace and search for an app called Titanium Backup. Um, so just tap Titanium Backup. There's a paid version. Uh, there's also a free version. I've already got this installed. Um, if you want to pay for it, support the developer, uh, suggest you do because um, <coughs> it's really a great app but uh, if you want to go for the free option that's your choice so install this uh, titanium backup and then once you've done that go into settings go into display screen timeout and set it to something like five minutes uh, as the backup will take a few minutes um, and you don't want your screen to go off whilst it's doing the backup so um, navigate uh, your menu uh, to titanium backup and then open it up and when you get to the home screen you'll see um, there's a few different options the one you're going to press is problems it's the bottom middle here and just press yes do it what this does is downloads busybox which uh, uh, which is a set of tools that allows you uh, to back up uh, certain settings and stuff like that. Um, once it's done you'll get a notification saying uh, done, click to restart so just click that notification and now go down to the menu key, press your menu key press batch and select backup all user apps plus system data so this one here, I'm just press run next to it and make sure kill active apps is selected and then click run batch operation I'm going to speed this bit up because it takes a while so um, I'll come back to you after this is done right once this is done um, you can just close the app down and you can go ahead and install the uh, latest build or update uh, of the ROM you want on your phone and then um, yeah come back to the video and I'll show you what you have to do to restore all the settings hey guys um, I've installed the latest MDJ NAND build for the HD2 um, and I'm back here at the uh, main screen um, with all the default widgets and etc. Um, the first thing you're going to need to do um, is make sure you skip as many setup screens as possible so you can just get straight into the ROM because you're going to back up or you're going to restore all the settings anyway so it doesn't really matter about those. Um, the next thing you're going to have to do is enable Wi Fi um, which I've already done so I can get into the marketplace. Uh, also, to get into the marketplace, you're going to need to go to accounts and sync <coughs> sign into your uh, google mail account but make sure you untick auto sync and make sure nothing's uh, syncing uh, with your google account um, then when you've done that you're also going to have to go into settings applications and make sure unknown sources is ticked um, so that you can install and run titanium backup so go into the marketplace, search for titanium backup and choose uh, whichever version you want um, install titanium backup go through all the prompts let it download and everything uh, should only take a few moments as you can see um, yeah, uh, once titanium backups installed um, just open it up and allow uh, root 
Um, also, just so you know, you will need your phone. To, your phone will need to be rooted. But if you've uh, got a NAND HD2 build, then it doesn't matter because they're all they all come rooted anyway. But if you're using this tutorial for another phone, then it, it, your phone does need to be rooted. So go to problems again. Tick yes, do it. And just wait for it to do its thing. It should only take a few seconds. Right, uh, you can restart the app, so press the notification. Right, once BusyBox is installed, um, just press the menu button, press batch, um, and press restore missing apps plus all system data. So run that. Um, if you're using the same build, uh, the same NAND build, and you're just reflashing it, then you can just press run the batch operation. Um, and just make sure everything's ticked. Uh, you can do that by pressing select all or do it manually if you want. Um, so as I am restoring everything um, from the same build I can just press run batch operation straight away but if you're doing it from a, a different build or a newer version um, check deselect all and then um, choose app and data and select all the green items uh, which are your settings uh, as you can probably make out here so like alarms, contacts, country language time zone etc um, the crossed out items they're the ones that aren't included in your build um, so I don't know can't see any crossed out items um, and uh, any other items um, which are the same in your build um, will be you know, basically any other colour. Um, oh, these are the crossed out ones here. So these are ones that um, you don't actually have uh, on your device. So they're what you've probably installed from the marketplace. So any anything else, which will probably be the red ones, um, will be the ones that are in the same as your build, but you want to restore the settings for them. So they're already installed. Um, but you'll just be restoring the app and the settings for that. So once you've checked out all the things you want, just press run batch operation. Keep, just keep pressing install and uh, done. So every time something comes up, press install and done. It'll take a while, so I'm going to come back to you um, after uh, I've done all this. Um, and um, I'll show you what else to do. Actually, this is pretty much it, to be fair. Um, once you've installed all these things all you have to do is reboot your phone um, and that's about it really once you've installed everything again um, you're pretty much set to go so just reboot it and you can um, start using your phone it'll be as it was before so if you uh, if you like this video like it if you've got any questions then just uh, leave a comment um, subscribe if you want to see more and uh, I'll leave some links and stuff in the description I'll leave a link for the APK uh, for this program um, I'll also leave a link for my um, torrent site uh, that I've made uh, if you want to check that out you can I'm uploading ROMs and uh, tweaks mods apps stuff like that uh, to do with mobile devices um, for various phones so if you want just go and check that out I'll leave the link in the description um, start seeding downloading whatever and yeah uh, I'll see